he might be bulking up for his Wolverine comeback, but Hugh Jackman says it's a walk in the park compared to his latest gig. It tackles a serious subject for parents. Layla McKinnon spoke to Hugh and co-star Laura Dern from New York. Hugh, Laura, what are you doing over there when you know it is a great time to be in Australia? Laura's a massive Aussie fan, actually. I really am. Did it start with Hugh or did it predate Hugh? Predates well, me. Yeah, pre-dating Hugh, I, I mean, pre-dating Hugh. <laughs> telling the world now that yes, I have been dating Hugh. Uh, <laughs> this is really... Right, Amy. <laughs> pre-dating knowing Hugh, I have always loved Australia, but now that I know Hugh, I actually have a title in Australia. I was an honorary Australian and some great, great honor was bestowed upon me about, but like... A living Hugh. legend. Uh, living yeah. legend. A living legend in Perth. The two living legends have lived an emotional roller coaster playing divorced parents in The Sun. Let's talk about The Sun. Hugh, we haven't seen you in a role like this for a while. Why was mm. it important to you? Why did you want to take part? This movie really tells a story of a family grappling um, with how to deal with a 17-year-old boy who's going through a real crisis. And I think these conversations are needed. Um, they're urgent. And I really felt this movie was going to spark those. Back up a minute. He hasn't been to school in almost a month and you never noticed anything. I mean, he was heading out with his bag and everything he needed for the day. Hugh's performance earned him a fourth Golden Globe nomination, his first for a dramatic role. But he still got to dance. One of the lighter moments in the movie is your daggy dad dancing. And obviously you're a dancer, but have you got the moves that would impress the kids? Oh, no. Like, oh, no. At your own risk, you ask for it. <laughs> My 17-year-old daughter said, oh, I've got to do some daggy dad dancing. And the only clue in it, there's something in the script saying a hip sway. So I've got three ideas and I'm, I'm going to run this by you. And so I started in the first one. She goes, stop. <laughs> You've got the daggy dad dancing thing down perfectly. You don't have to repeat that at all. I was like, oh, really? She goes, trust me. <laughs> Laura, as a living legend in Australia, are you across the vernacular of a daggy dad? I, I'm not. This is my first uh, first hearing of it. Well, this means like a dork, dorky dad. Is that right, Hugh? I think Daggy's got a an affectionate tone nowadays, right? Don't you think? Slightly? Slightly yeah. affectionate. Maybe because I am a dag. I feel yeah, I was going to say, you think that. I wonder if your daughter also thinks that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's totally embarrassing what she thinks. There'll be no dancing in Hugh's next big project. When you're not on stage, when you're not putting out remarkable fil films with the living legend Laura Dern, uh, you're bulking up again for, for Wolverine. So yeah. bring on the egg whites and never say never. Yeah, never say never. It was, it, I, I gotta be honest, Layla, it was a surprise to me. I, I, Ryan Reynolds literally camped outside my door for five years and I would I'd spit on him in the street on my way out. But it was one day I just, I literally, it was, I remember it was August 15th. I was driving and I, it just came to me in a flash. So when I rang him, he thought I was joking. Um, and, but here we are and I'm super excited about it. I think it's gonna be something very different to what I've done. And Laura's gonna be training with me. Um, and it's gonna be amazing, yeah. Ryan and Hugh together in Deadpool 3 will do huge business. But Hugh hopes Australians will embrace the sun and how it tackles a serious social problem. And the pandemic has just accelerated what was already a really massive issue. And maybe apart from the pandemic, mental health has become actually the, the next biggest issue we're talking about. And the tragedy is there is help available um, and we need to build a society that is where it's okay and we see this a lot in Australia but around the world where it's okay to ask for help it's okay to not be okay um, and I'm really proud of a lot of the work that's happening in Australia well it's a remarkable film and it's been a joy to talk to two Aussie legends uh, Hugh, <laughs> thank you very much your passport will be coming in the mail very soon <laughs> thank you Layla thank you so much for your time so lovely to talk to you I'd say three legends right there. Well, The Sun is in cinemas next week.